in this video we will try to characterize intervals so let us do a theorem on characterization for intervals the theorem says that if s is a subset of r is any subset of r that contains at least two points that contains at least two points and has a property that if x y belongs to s and x is less than y then then the closed set the closed interval x y is a subset of s okay it's a subset of s then s is an interval what we are trying to say here is that if we have any subset of r which is such that it contains a closed interval then that set that subset will be an interval itself so let us suppose first of all that s is bounded okay if s is bounded then then what will happen s will have s will have an upper bound as well as lower bound so that means that s admits upper and lower bounds and which implies that s s has a supremum as well as an infimum okay s will have a supremum as well as an infimum so let us just denote these sup and in so let's take infimum of s as a and supremum of s as b okay let us take infimum as a supremum as b now as we can see b is an upper bound b is an upper bound for s since it's a supremum it has to be an upper bound so what do we have we have that we have s is less than or equal to b for all s belonging to the subset s right okay similarly similarly a is a lower bound for s so therefore we have that s is greater than or equal to a for any s belonging to s for any element of this subset s so what do we have we have consequently for any element s belonging to the set s we have that s lies between a and b okay s will lie between a and b what does it mean this means that s is contained in the closed interval a b s is contained in some closed interval a b so that's our number 1 why am i saying so because by definition of a subset a is a subset of b says that x belongs to a implies x belongs to b so that's what is happening here okay so what we have proved is that s is contained in a closed interval now we will try to prove we will try to prove that in fact a closed interval is contained in s that in fact a closed interval is contained in s so that's number 2 let's try to prove that so how will we do that again by definition of a subset we will have to take an element in this set and try to prove that it is there in the set s so 
let us take a z belonging to closed interval a b okay so we will try to show that that z is that that z belongs to the set s so what are we trying to show let me just depict that on a line what are we trying to show let's just depict it so we are saying that a is the infimum b is the supremum of this set s correct so we are saying that x and y would lie somewhere here and z should be somewhere here okay now as z will be less than or equal to b okay as z will be less than b in fact by characterization by characterization of supremum b is the supremum of supremum what do we know we know that there exists y belonging to s such that z will be always less than y okay and on the other hand what do we have as z is greater than b again by characterization of infimum by characterization of infimum there exists an x belonging to s such that z is such that x is actually less than z okay that's what i've depicted for you here so hence you know there do exist hence there exist there exist x and y belonging to s such that such that z is lying between x and y okay so what do we have we have that now x and y belong to s so what do we have we have that this set x and y this interval x and y is a subset of s which will imply this is by what we were given by the given thing given hypothesis what was our given hypothesis our given hypothesis was the property that uh, if x and y belong to y and x is less than y then the closed interval xy is a subset of s okay that was a given property this implies now because z lies somewhere in between this implies that z is an element of s and hence ab is a subset of s and this is the second statement that we made proved okay this is the second statement that we made so 1 and 2 1 and 2 actually implies that open interval ab is contained in s which is contained in the closed interval ab okay so either either s is an open interval ab it can be a closed interval ab or it can be half closed half open or it can be half open half closed so whatever the case might be s is an interval whatever the case might be 
S is an interval and we've just proved that. 